The minute you start thinking you own something, it owns you. My manifestation mastermind group is kicking off and there's already a lot of momentum in the air from that. Blurring Central Park West. And I think I might hit 200K on TikTok. Yes! Yes! It looks so good. How really the intention of our lives is to understand how much we can impact other people. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Haley Hoffman Smith and I am the friend that helps you bring your pipe dreams to reality through manifestation, mindset, and motivation. I am so excited for another week, woohoo! It's November, which means my manifestation mastermind group is kicking off and there's already a lot of momentum in the air from that. And in reflecting upon what I wanted this week's spiritual theme slash lesson to be, I thought about something that really stood out to me this morning when when I was reading my new book, A Happy Pocket Full of Money by David Cameron Gikandi. And I was really struck by this part of the book that said, you will one day leave even your own body. You can never truly own anything here on earth. Thinking that you own something results in that thing owning you. The thought of ownership causes resistance to change, resistance to the workings of the mighty universe in its infinitely intelligent fashion. The minute you start thinking you own something, it owns you. This stood out to me because I remember this play that I saw in high school called You Can't Take It With You. And it was basically about how, you know, we think about material possessions and money and all those things that you can accumulate over the course of your life. But when you leave this physical world, you can't take those things with you. Even just thinking about things I could own, like this camera that I'm recording on or this book or this ring light, you know, those things aren't me. And I love that it said, if you think you own something, then it owns you because you give it too much power. I'd like to think through that this week in terms of the things that are worth it then, right? If you can't own anything material or physical, then the only thing you can own is an experience or a moment or a friendship or a sensation in your body or an emotion. And those things you can't quite hold in your hands, right? But we have to give them their proper power because those things are the fabric of our lives. The material things are great and they help. And I love, you know, sipping out of my coffee mug in the morning. And I love my apartment and I love my new shoes that I got last week. But that's really different than understanding the things that make life life, the things that we should claim ownership over and focus on and care about most and value most which are the experiences, friends, quiet moments alone, the reflections, the love, the things you can't hold in your hand, the things you can't buy. For sure you can buy some experiences, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Let's explore that this week. I think that will be funsies. Right now, Rachel is on her way over because tonight we're doing our first ever duo speaking engagement. She and I are going to be on this panel about manifesting for a group called Whatever It Takes, which is a teen program that helps teens start their own businesses and encourages entrepreneurship, hosted by our friend Sarah Hernholm who is amazing and right before that I actually have another talk two talks in one night holy cow with Northeastern and a class there called we build which is another group of college students who are entrepreneurs and I'm gonna be talking about demystifying failure so Rach is gonna like hang out quietly in the background while I do that one and then she'll be here for us to hop on and do the second one so I've had plenty of coffee I'm ready to talk all night <laughs> all right let's go you can't own the sunset and that doesn't make it any less beautiful Ugh, I love seeing the sunset over the water Water. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so I just finished my talk for Northeastern's We Build class. How did I do, Rach? She was listening in the background. You did such a good job, just as well as the last time and the first time and every time in between that. She's heard this talk <laughs> maybe 80 plus times. I've traveled a few places to go and hear Haley. Really. <laughs> That's true love. Really That's speak. true love. So now we're just having a glass of wine and waiting for 8.30 to roll around where we're doing a mindset and manifesting panel for whatever it takes, that teen program I was telling you guys about earlier. I'm so excited. It's the first time we've ever done something like this together. I think we'll play off each other well. But we gotta make sure we don't interrupt each other like the last two times we've been on this vlog. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> Oh, Rage, are you <laughs> thirsty? <laughs> We are prepping. Yay! We've set up the ring light, put it on the chair. We have our wine. We are all ready. This is like the Haley and Rachel talk show. <laughs> oh, yeah. We should start a talk we show. Do that would be so much fun. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It is Tuesday, November 3rd, 2020, election day. I'm trying to explain the way that the energy feels in the air because it's definitely intense, but it doesn't feel intense in a bad way. 
it feels almost hopeful, which is great, right? I definitely feel some of the apprehension around not knowing when we'll know an answer, not knowing what the answer will be. There's not much I can tell for sure, but just coping with that today as is everyone else. Drinking some coffee, it's midday. I'm about to get on for the first small group mastermind of the big manifestation mastermind, so that'll be fun. And I'll keep you posted, even though I have a feeling this week in general is gonna be a little bit of like laying low and self-care and seeing what happens. So we'll all see you together, won't we? <laughs> Soho Diner with Ankita. <laughs> it is the most divine morning in New York City. The sun is out. It feels like the perfect temperature. And we just finished up breakfast and we are walking to find some coffee. It's a good day. It's a good day in the neighborhood. Good day. Beautiful day in Soho. New single coming out next <laughs> month. Hi friends, I just wrapped up an evening of doing a small group mastermind as part of my mastermind program this month. So essentially every time I do a small group, we have four of the participants come together. I host slash moderate it and we walk through our big dreams and goals and set action plans and offer each other help and resources. And it was just so great because obviously tonight has a weird energy. It's Wednesday night. Obviously, we don't know the results of the election. It looks like it's going to be Biden, likely. But the uncertainty in the air is leading to a lot of tension. Like, it's just a weird time and there's weird energy, as I know you all know, as we're reflecting and hopefully everything's worked out just fine. <laughs> But my point is here, we came onto the call and I could just tell everyone was also feeling weird energy. Like I actually felt like almost like physically sick just because of how weird things feel. And you know, we all shared honestly and vulnerably or they shared honestly and vulnerably. And I think we all just felt so much better by the end. And I feel like I'm kind of like on cloud nine after just working with such incredible women. So I'm about to make some dinner. I'm gonna make like shrimp, a shrimp little thing. We'll see, maybe I'll do a little cooking with Haley segments and then get some more work done and maybe do a little reading tonight just for self-care, you know, had a good nap today. I know everyone's feeling tired and didn't sleep a lot last night, but the city's energy feels hopeful and optimistic and I think we'll know more soon. Also, I had to share this because this was so freaking weird. Last night, it is, it says that I took the screenshot at 12.41 a.m. So I'm scrolling Instagram really late at night, just trying to stay up, see like what's going on with the election. Do you guys obviously know the theme of this week's video is all about how you can't take things with you. Life is about the experiences that you have. It's not about how much you accumulate over your life. It's about what you experience and what you give to others. I just happened to be scrolling through Instagram, someone's um, Instagram story and look what I see. It was a story that says everything we own on the material plane becomes insignificant when obviously it means we die. And then we go somewhere else and realize we never owned anything anyway, not even our thoughts. What? I was obviously tired last night and I just could not believe my eyes. I was like, is this the exact quote from that book? But it's definitely not the same quote. And I was, it's just so strange. Like when you go in pursuit of a spiritual lesson, I was kind of wondering like, all right, this is a good thing to live into. I don't really think anything this week is gonna happen and corresponds with that necessarily. But what in the world? <laughs> Hi friends, it's Thursday midday and I am heading down to the Flatiron District area to work at a co-working space that my friend Brooke works at. Uh, she and I are gonna meet about some graphic stuff and I'm gonna get some client writing done. Yeah, it's like this beautiful, gorgeous, sunny day. Excited for another day of dream chasing. This is one perfect pizza, and pizza is literally my favorite. It comes with a truffle ranch dressing. Ow, ow, yummy. Watching some Emily in Paris before I go on for a Facebook Live with my mastermind group. It's already dark, it's wild, it's not even 6 p.m. Well, it is 6 p.m., but. <laughs> Hi friends, it is Friday afternoon. I have been having the best day doing one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions with a lot of my mastermind participants having some really emotional conversations about dreams and limiting beliefs. So I'm on cloud nine, really amped up on that. And Starbucks just released their holiday cups today. So I'm gonna go treat myself to a holiday drink in between calls. I'm wearing this really cute dress. Feels very holiday-esque, love it. Honestly, my camera can't do it justice, but the sunset tonight is just absolutely 
unreal. Oh my gosh, I love it. Hello friends, it's been an amazing busy day. I just returned Basil to Renee's loving arms and I am now heading down to Tribeca to meet my friends, Ankita, Alyssa, Rachel, and one of Ankita's friends, Elizabeth, who I can't wait to meet. We're gonna have dinner, we're gonna play some games, drink some wine with a Christmas tree. I'm so excited for some good girl time. Oh yeah, say hey ladies. <laughs> hi, say hi Richie. Hey guys. Oh no. Ah, no, I didn't get the boom. Yeah. Santa baby, so hurry down the chimney tonight. Hello, hello. It is Sunday midday. I'm heading to meet my friends Brooke and Rachie, as you guys know Rachel, for brunch. It is so hot outside. It's almost 70 degrees today, and I think I might hit 200K on TikTok today or tomorrow. It's imminent. I feel it in the air. I'm so pumped. I'm also burning up because it's so hot and excited for brunch. told Rachel I have 500 people to go until 200k oh, and the look of panic racing. on her face as she reaches for her phone. <laughs> no, we're 199.5. So cool. <laughs> <Woo! laughs> All right, we are en route to Party City to get the 200k balloons. <laughs> Woohoo! And we just Yay. finished up brunch. There we go. It's going down. Years in New York. Yes! Yay! Yay! <laughs> I think this is the focus. Yay! Next up, we are putting these in the trunk. We got that Uber. We got this under control. <laughs> you got this, Rach. <laughs> we got the kids. Mission completed. <laughs> Alyssa and I are at St. Ambrose in the West Village celebrating. We'll end out the night together. Gluten free bread, best thing ever. Also, this is Alyssa's first time at St. Ambrose. I'm so excited to show her. <laughs> Thank you. Looks so good. Both got the gluten free bolognese. Alyssa's about to try her first bite. It's like a filming Alyssa's experience. I just got home from St. Ambrose with Alyssa, and I'm just feeling so emotional about not only hitting 200,000 followers on TikTok, but just my friends who showed up for me because it was really unexpected to hit it today. I mean, it wasn't really unexpected. I knew it was coming, but I kind of thought it would be tomorrow. And we loosely talked about having a celebration. But today, it became very obvious that it was about to happen. And everybody dropped what they were doing to come be there for me. That in itself just means so much. And just interesting, I was just thinking earlier how this entire vlog is supposed to be about the things you can't take with you. Like when you leave your life, it's not about the things that you accumulate. And for one, on the side of that, like followers, it's a, it's a number, but it's not something that you accumulate in the sense that you can take it with you. Like I see it as such a gift and an honor that every single person, every single now 200,000, 300th person who decided that they wanted to follow my content, I understand that that's a choice and that's something that they felt that they could get something from since I'm always trying to put out content that helps people and that I'm not entitled to any of this. I'm not entitled to this platform. It's something that I've worked for and will continue to work for. How really the intention of our lives is to understand how much we can impact other people. And we're all destined to impact a certain audience of people. For some that's gonna be billions, and for some that's gonna be millions, and for some that's gonna be a hundred. And that doesn't make it any less special no matter how big or small the number is. And I've always known that I was going to impact millions of people. Frankly, I didn't know it was gonna happen so soon. I know it's just 200,000, but I just was really thinking today, wow, I know I can't take that with me, but I also know those are real souls and real people who I get to create content for. And on top of that, my friends and the love and adoration and respect that they showed me tonight by showing up for me and bringing flowers and gluten-free cookies and helping me carry my balloons and just celebrating, it's just dropping everything at the drop of a hat to be there for me. That is honestly what life is about. That is what life is about. 
that is it. I'm just feeling so grateful. On that note, it's a new week. I will see you tomorrow. Honestly, it's never too early. <laughs>Once again, just scrolling through Instagram and seeing something that relates to this week's message where they say, is that all you need? Love versus all of these other things. This is a cucumber spritz. Ooh. Ooh la la. That took a while. Wow. Morning friends. It is Wednesday morning, 11, 11. Whoop, whoop. I can feel the energy in the air. I am heading down to Chelsea to meet Ankita for coffee. We're starting this new like Wednesday morning coffee slash breakfast routine for just the two of us, which I'm so excited about. And then I have a coaching session for my mastermind and an, a later small group mastermind session. And I also have EFT in the middle of that. So it's going to be a day on my laptop for sure with a lot of virtual calls, but I think it's going to be really good. Excited to go see Ankita, which I'll bring you along with me for. Um, but also just like along with this week's theme, it's funny how this week has probably been the week that I have vlogged the least since starting this vlog, just because I've been really focused on being present and I'll realize like, oh, I just ate my entire meal and <laughs> I didn't film like the food. And I'm like, well, why do I need to, right? Like it's more about the moments with friends and loved ones and just the relationships that we get to have. Um, it's just really interesting how that theme has continued to pervade. But that being said, I love to share my life with you and I love doing these vlogs. So I promise I'm gonna be more intentional next week. I know this has been a shorter vlog, but it's also been good, I think, for, for all of us to think through these considerations. Let's head over to Chelsea. is 11 11 and I just looked out the window sitting here getting to emails and there is a truck that says 333 right below me ah! just need some lemon chicken and zucchini pasta gluten-free of course looks so good Another beautiful message along the lines of this week's spiritual lesson. You give but little when you give of your possessions. It is when you give of yourself that you truly give. 